three, two, one. Hello, this is Grandmaster Yang. Yang can do, so can you. All right, today I'm here on the desk that I like to share the new WT Taekwondo Pumse Championship. All right, I'm sure many of your athletes around the world, if you're competing in G game, G1, G2, G4 World Pumse Championship especially that is coming up in November in Hong Kong Wow Alright You guys have to prepare for the new rules that has been changed for WT the World Taekwondo Alright What has been changed? Now many of you guys was very curious uh, and then uh, when they're gonna um, actually affect this uh, to the championship well my guess it's right after they post I mean they posted in June 14 2024 so well world championship is in November and I believe the new WT Pumse referee chairperson is Dr. Grandmaster uh, Jun uh, is going around to many different country and giving us seminars. Well, if you have been into his seminar already, then you should uh, begin prepare. All right, let me just read it out, the WT, what they share for the first page. Let me go over only about the first page today. Well, the first page was about division, okay? The division was added, okay? They, I don't, they didn't take out the division. They add more division for who? For the seniors, the masters, so the master can continue train at their dojang and begin coming out to continue their participation, their competition, like when they were young before. You know, I used to be a fighter, the kyorugi uh, player. So when I was young, I did only kyorugi. I uh, have not get a chance to focus on Pumse. So, from my foundation of Kyorugi actually helped me to do better in Pumse because I had many uh, years and times the physical challenge um, that came to me as a good because it helped me overcome many challenges okay so training Pumse some people say it is easy some pe people say it is harder well it's really depend on I will say it's really how you think about uh, getting into the competition if you're looking to go all the way up to the top uh, of the match, yes, it gets difficult and difficult and difficult to win, to win, right? Order to win, you have to meet those challenge and overcome, fight, break through, guys, okay? I'm still challenging myself as of athletes, USA team member, but also I help other students, my students, or other students through the seminars or online classes uh, to help them to be better in their sport pumse. Um, 
and then I also uh, international referee for Pumse. So I also help uh, judging at uh, many different uh, Taekwondo tournament uh, that is out there in United States. Okay, just came back from Kim Moon Young Cup. Uh, had fun in Korea. Uh, USA team, AAU, uh, Sport Pumse national team members, they did a wonderful job. Congratulations one more time on that. Okay, thank you for trying hard for the country and represent strong. Uh, it's really needed and uh, you guys did it well. Okay, uh, and judging uh, here and there gives more experience to see and understand from the judge's view. Even I'm competing as an athlete or coaching from behind the athletes, you get all different views, the different views and different thoughts. Diff you, you, you get to see many different things that you have not seen if you're not in that shoe. So if like people say, you wanna you wanna know um, how I feel, then you have to put my shoes on you so you could feel. Okay, I uh, it's not gonna be hundred percent, but you know close to ninety nine percent, right? Okay, well, the division was added for the masters so we could have more master involved in competition you know um, I start back in Pumse uh, from Kyorugi because I I did retire the Kyorugi and then I had a break time and then I didn't know about this Pumse and then I find out maybe a little late I don't know maybe earlier than others uh, I found out in 2014 by Grandmaster so young A in Korea. She's also a represent for national uh, Pumse team for Korea for many years. She's a world champion. Um, many people, many seniors and master probably know her. And she told me there is a Pumse championship and I, that kind of inspired me to uh, begin training in Pumse. Now here I am still competing and um, being part of the Taekwondo tournament, the excitement, you know, um, and I'm really happy for what I'm doing. So uh, thanks to everyone and special thanks to the Grandmaster So Young uh, for uh, information. Thank you, ma'am. 감사합니다. Uh, so this division was added, right? Okay. What happened to the division? Okay, uh, let me share what happened to the division. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just read it first for you guys. Okay, recognize Pumse competition, pair, cadet, junior, under thirty. Okay, over thirty was renamed, renamed, under fifty, under sixty over 60 okay those are the age as you know okay so for the pairs for cadet junior under 30 under four uh, under 50 under 60 and over 60 and it's same for the team not only for the pair same for the team guys so team also have cadets Junior, under 30, that's same, didn't change, but the over 30, they rename to under 50, under 60, over 60. Wow. I appreciate to Dr. Jun. Thank you, sir. Because as of a senior, the master one division, and you know, I don't know when I'm gonna stop. As long as my body lets me compete and go to tournaments, 
and coaching or refereeing, I'll be at Taekwondo tournament. But adding this division, the new division for the senior members, for masters, I appreciate what you have done for everyone's, sir. And people who agreed to make this happen, thank you to those officials and all masters and instructors. Thank you, sir. All right. And this is just to promote uh, for more seniors. So senior can be more involved in a division. All right. Okay, let's uh, move to the next line on the first page. Okay. Uh, the first page that was released in June 14, 2024. Okay, I'm on the second line. So let me read it for you. Division of Freestyle Pumse Competition. This is Freestyle Pumse Competition, not recognized. Okay, so for the freestyle. All right, let me read it for you. Board breaking in the three technical skill. Gliding of spin in a spin kick. Kyorugi style consecutive kicks. Acrobatic kicking techniques for following division mix team. It says following division for mix team. So I don't think it's gonna be uh, required in a individual or pair because there's no holder, right? But the mixed team has a five people and you need to break a board during the performance, I guess, during that 90 second. And then the performance that you normally did and they want you to hold the board at the same time. So I guess four people are gonna hold the board and one person gonna uh, do the action and break boards. And then I, I guess you gotta, you're gonna have to switch it off to the next Kyorugi style. And then you switch it off to the next acrobatic uh, skill. Uh, so I think um, team is getting more challenge to perfect the technique instead of doing the motion during the free style pumse. I think they really want you to snap your kicks. So since it's, it's sometimes it's difficult to see, did they really actually, while they're doing backflip, did they actually kick and snap three times? It's really hard to see, right? But now if you put the boards there, if you don't snap your kicks, the board will not break. So hopefully I understand correctly. For the mix division, I think they're gonna put a board for you to actually break them in middle of your movement. You cannot hesitate because you only allow 90 seconds to finish your whole choreography that you made, right? Okay. And this is also uh, to make freestyle competition more exciting. That's what it says right here. So I guess, and I'm looking forward to see the excitement in action on the floor, breaking those boards. Wow, this is very challenge. It's not easy, okay? Uh, it's not easy, guys. Uh, people does it sometimes easy, like Cookie One demonstration or, or a WT demonstration or KTA demonstration or some other uh, Pisang or other uh, middle med Taekwondo demonstration team does look like easy, right? But imagine how many times they, they practice you know, they practice probably a million times over and over and over and over until they perfect their technique. I normally tell my students when I coach, I tell them um, 
Well, you have to hit those kicking pedal 10 times with no single mistake. That means you got that kick. Okay, can miss it for 10 times. You have to perfect them. And even we do that, when we go to tournaments, you get that peer pressure, right? You get that peer pressure and it's really um, get get to, you know, the mode that your, you know, muscles get tighter and, you know, even no matter how long you stretch and try to relax and doing those uh, warm-ups, you know, you still uh, get the nervous um, and, and your muscle still will be tight. So uh, it's really challenge uh, for everyone, okay? Uh, that who's per per uh, performing a freestyle pumse for the team. Yup. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna check those out and I'm gonna make sure I'll videotape uh, uh, of the freestyle team. Uh, when it happens for real in front of me okay i'll make sure i'll try to videotape those all right let me move to the third line on the first page read it out for you all international level competition recognized by the world taekwondo shall be formed with the participant of six country with six team in each division but it changed to at least four country with no fewer than four teams in each division okay so um, they dropped the number from six to four so if there is a four uh, team that mean um, it will count. It will count uh, your ranking points. Uh, it will, they will honor uh, everyone who's there as long as there's four people or more, right? All right. Whew. That's the first page. And we have two more pages. Total of three pages for Sport Pumse. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. And I really wanted to share this uh, earlier, but I have to come back from the Korea trip. I took uh, my Kukiwon, the high 8 Dan uh, Kukiwon test back in August when I was uh, visiting in Korea. And then I coach AAU Sport Pumse national team member at the Kim Eun-young Cup. All right. But I give you another news for you. I believe hmm, maybe end of January 2025 or first week or before one week before US Open I think a Kim Eun-young Cup will be held in NYC New York City. Ooh. New York. How exciting is that? Okay. Everybody come to New York. Yeah? You want to come to New York? Come to Kim Eun-young Cup. If they uh, share me the uh, information, I will try my best to share all the information that I can. And if there is an organization who likes to share your information, Please send me your packet and I will try my best to share your information packet uh, to everyone. Okay. Uh, where do you share it? Well, uh, you could comment on my video or you could direct send me an email to yang can do so can you at gmail.com. Y A N G. C A N D O S O C A N Y O U. 
Yankin' Do, Sokin' Yuk!